Yeah, just talking. You've got to talk. Yeah, I You've got totally to talk. Agree. And just, uh, you know, in the early days of my marriage, uh, I didn't talk as well as I do now. Mm. You know, I didn't communicate as well. Communica- well, we helped each other communicate, both you we and did. I. Because I, yeah. I, I was struggling. Um, our relationship as friends, we were struggling a bit, you know. Yeah. And um, in this very unit, there were lots of... Uh, Heavy moments. <laughs> well, there are more heavy moments than the other unit. That's if true. I remember rightly. That can yeah. well. You're having your third red wine for the night. You got to stop it. I know. <laughs> God. I know. Well, that's why I wrote that chapter. Talking yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was it was good, but God, I, I would have been a nightmare. How was that at the time? Uh, you were a nightmare. No, yeah. Because I, 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 I was an adult. I was 20, 21. You were. No, you were just struggling with a few things and I understood that. So I, mm. that was absolutely fine. Mm. That was, uh, yeah, I, I knew what was going on and mm. you got through it. So that was the main thing. Did you um, Did you see yourself in me? Not, not in the way I was acting out because no. I was just resentful and projecting all these things that I had inside me. But yeah. did you see like the... Anxiety, because I I had the anxiety at the same time you had the anxiety. Sure, that was unbelievable. Too when we were speaking people. about that, it was crazy. So I wonder we're still here. <laughs> I know, I know. No, but what I'm saying, like I would, at you went through it at the same age that I went through it. Oh yes, you know, yeah. That was amazing when you said that to me. It really helped. You know, yeah. it's yeah. crazy. Well, yeah, we did. We when we reacted differently because my parents were still together, so mm. it was a slightly different, and it was a, a different era. And whatever, but we did. Yeah, I, I started suffering from anxiety from about the age of sixteen. Mm. You know that story I told you when I was painting the bathroom wall in my parents' home, and I suddenly started getting all these terrible thoughts. And mm. you know, my life is going to end in a car, and blah blah blah. And yeah, it's just that fixation of thinking and thinking and overthinking things. Mm. Um, so yeah, we did. We and that's probably why I could help you because I yeah, I understood so it. Yeah, I knew what. What, what you're experiencing mm. and perhaps offer some advice and whatever how to help. Yeah. I think the best thing you did was just offer the insight of like the recognition of the thoughts don't identify you just because your mind's going crazy in all these thoughts and facets and possible scenarios. Mm. That doesn't mean that that's who you are, you know? No. And you kept saying like, they're just the thoughts, they're just the thoughts. And initially that really annoyed me because it was just like, yeah, but what do I do about them? But I think as, yeah. it, as that idea became more ingrained into me, it was kind of like, oh, that's right. I'm not my thoughts. Thoughts are just no. these things that try to analyze situations to keep you safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. And you just Everyone deals with things differently. Mm. And it's a yeah. matter of finding the best way for you. I, I think you've cottoned onto it much, much, much quicker than I have. Anxiety and whatever. It's, I've sort of had it all my life. Uh, not as much now, but yeah. so certainly in the early days, if I'd known uh, then what I know now, I would have certainly handled things differently. Mm. Um, but, but you wouldn't be the man you are today. You know, that, well, that's true. I might have Probably been a better man. Well, I wonder if you would have written this book. Well, I, yeah, but who knows? Well, yeah. That's right. Because um, this, this sort of stuff, this is why I think you and I love it so much. It gives us like an outlet to express our, ourselves. Sure. Uh, although this is fiction, it doesn't mm. really matter. Just... Being no. able to write and, you know, have thoughts in your head and then construct them on a piece of paper logically is, is, a, is a great tool to have. True. And there is a bit of the class clown in the lead character there who's not totally me, but there are bits of him in there. Mm. I mean, you can't help that when you're oh, writing no. characters. That's just the way it is. And there are a few different people who I've, you know, gathered bits from mm. uh, to put in their particular characters. So that's just the way it is. But We won't they, mention who they are. No, they <laughs> shall remain nameless. Yeah. I don't want to be sued. So Yeah. Uh, Anyway, no, it's all fairly uh, harmless, really. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and uh, I probably could have made one of the characters more anxious. That would have been, but perhaps in the next book, anxiety could play a bigger part. Yeah. They, they do have their anxious moments, but that's a bit different. We can all have anxious moments. Yeah. Well, we all, I mean, it's important. Otherwise, we're just going to be irresponsible and ignorant and, you know, yeah. we won't think of the future and we're all dumb and all that sort of stuff. But if, it, if, it's, if it's impacting your life negatively... And I think, I don't yeah. think yours does anymore, does it? No, yeah. no, I don't think Pretty so. Pretty content. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I, I have no real uh, issues, to be honest. When mm. I look around me and some of the things going on, mm. I can't complain, honestly. i got a pretty good life. I've got a job five days a week. I've got my own little humble abode here. Um, go overseas every now and then. Mm. So it's all good. 
So as I said to you earlier, if I you know retire in five years, I might uh, write more books and mm. do that sort of thing because I do enjoy the writing. But uh, we'll just wait and see. Mm. Anyway.